We are gathered here to calculate the surface area of a pyramid, where the surface area is yeah, the area of all the sides at the surface of the pyramid added together. And there isn't a formula that will do that for me. There is not one formula that's going to give me the surface area of a pyramid, no. I have to approach it in a similar way as uh, well, with most other figures, is that I find the area of each face, yeah? so I look what kind of a figure is it, and I calculate the area of each face, and at the end I plus all those faces, uh, all those areas together. Now, I've sketched here a rectangular based pyramid for you. And why is it a rectangular based pyramid? Because the base is a rectangle. Yeah, because you know by now that the pyramid gets its name from yeah, the shape of its base. Yeah, so a rectangular based pyramid. And it is seven centimeters by six centimeters. And the slant height, and that is important in a minute, the slant height is 12 centimeters. All right, and the question now is, what is the surface area? Now, especially in the beginning, it is a very wise idea to sketch a net of the situation, all right? So I'm gonna do that here next to it. I'm gonna sketch the net, so I'll start with the base. Yeah? So the net, it's, I'm looking on top of it now, and um, if I would cut it out, I would basically be able to make that pyramid, okay? So this is roughly, it's just a sketch, the net of the situation. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it, okay? Anyway. Well, Roughly like that. Okay, that is my um, pyramid. I'm going to add the values there. This is um, seven. That one is seven. This is six. And that one is six. And the slant height is 12. So that is this length. Uh, that all is 12. Okay, good. Now I'm going to find the areas of my one, two, three, four, five faces and then I'm going to add them together. However, I realize that these two triangles are similar. Yeah, so if I find the area of this one, I'll times it by two and then I have both of them. And these two are similar. Yeah. So please notice that these two are not similar because this one is seven and that one is six. Okay. Well, they are similar and they are similar. Okay, very good. I'm going to start with the base because what kind of a shape is the base? Now the base is a rectangle here, a rectangular based uh, pyramid. So that is a rectangle. And um, yeah, what is the area of a rectangle? Uh, how do you calculate the area of a rectangle? I'm just going to put a little one here because that will refer, I'm going to a new page now because it's not going to fit. So I'll put a little one here as well. Okay, so that is my base. And a rectangle, the area is length times width, so that was 7 times 6, and that equals to 42 centimeters squared. Okay, and now if I go back here, let me do those triangles. So, which one shall I do first? It doesn't matter. I'm going to put a little 2 there over here, um, and that is the same as this one then. Okay, so I'll put a little 2 there as well yeah, because they are the same. And now I have to really be careful because a triangle, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. And some of you are gonna say, oh, so six times 12 divided by two. Yeah, but hang on a minute. Do they make an angle of 90 degrees? No, they don't. This is the slant height. Because what is the height, uh, what is the height I need, I'm looking for, this height, yeah, because that length then times six divided by two is going to be the area of my triangle. But they don't give me that height. It's it's not given. Also, not in my pyramid, it's not given. So, is it therefore impossible for me to solve this? Is this a reason for me to get nervous? No, because you are already telling yourself. Yeah, hang on a minute. In right angle triangles, yeah, I can calculate a length with either trigonometry or Pythagoras theorem, okay? So we have to do a little bit of a side step. So I'm again gonna get a new piece of paper and I'm going to sketch that uh, triangle, which looks uh, roughly like this. There we go, six and 12. But I'm not interested in that 12. Um, I'm interested in the height, 
yeah so that m is three and three let me put an h there yeah for height okay pythagoras theorem yeah, i'm actually enjoying this because it really brings all sorts of topics together a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared yeah and we're talking about right angle triangles yeah so let's talk about this triangle now okay so a squared for instance three squared plus h squared uh, the height squared you can call that x you can call it b whatever you want i say h of height equals the hypotenuse squared which is that longest side of the right angle triangle across the 90 degree angle isn't it okay so nine plus the height squared is 144 so the height squared equals 144 minus 9 and that is 135 so the square root of 135 and that equals and I'm going to write down all my decimals all my decimals uh, square root of 135 because this is not my final answer I can't round yet 11.6018950004 okay that's the height of that triangle now um, I have a lot of papers, but let me go quickly here now again. So the height here, that's the height I just found, 11.61 and a few more decimals. Okay, so I am going to continue now over here where I am calculating uh, the areas. That was of my base. Now of that triangle. So the area of a triangle, um, the area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. So that is, in this case, what is the base? So the base is 6. Yeah, 6 times, what is the height? Well, the height is 11 point and the rest, so 11.618950004 and all of that divided by 2. And that is going to give me let me have a look, times 6 equals, divided by 2 equals, and that is 34.8568512 centimeters squared. Alright, so that is a triangle, but I have two of them. Yeah, so if I go back to my net, I have one here, and that one is exactly the same. And so I have two of them. So um, let me write down times 2, yeah, so I'll do times 2, that answer, and that is 69.7137023 centimeters squared. All right, you see that's quite a lot of calculations, this is my base, and these are two of my triangles. Okay, but I'm not finished yet because I still have to do these triangles. They are different from those because here the base is 6 and here the base is 7. But I have to do a similar thing eh? because if this base times height divided by 2, yeah, but the base and the height have to make that angle of 90 degrees. I'm not interested in that slant height. Okay, so back to this sheet. Yeah, similar situation as before, slightly different because now. This is the height, that one is 12, but the whole thing is seven, that makes that one then half of that, so three and a half, yeah? And there, three and a half. So, if I just divide it like this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, all right? Now, three and a half squared, three and a half squared plus my height squared equals 12 squared. Now it's not going to fit, yeah. So I'm going to do it a little bit quicker. My height is then the square root of 12 squared minus three and a half squared. Okay, I'm going to take my calculator. 12 squared, which of course is 144 minus 3.5 squared, and then the square root of that answer, and that is going to be 11. Four seven eight two four zero two eight. Still all the decimals because I cannot round in the middle of my calculations. Yeah. So the area now of this triangle, which is the same as the area of that one, is going to be seven times eleven point four seven 
and more decimals divided by two. So I'll put a little three here to structure my workings. Yeah? One, two, three, there we go. And that then refers to this one, three. Okay, now is that going to fit? No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to work it out on paper number four. Okay, so area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, uh, or half times base times height, it's all the same. The base is seven times the height we just calculated is 11.47824028 divided by two equals. Okay, let me grab my calculator. Times seven equals divided by two equals. So one of those triangles is 40.1738 4099. Okay, that's the area of one triangle, but I have two of them. Okay, so what do I do with a number? I multiply that by two, and then I'll have the area of both. So that number times two, and divide by two times two. Anyway, 80.34768. Centimeters squared. All right, I'm going to write the number now here. So what do we have? We had just said 80.34768198 centimeters squared. Excellent. So I'm completely in control of my workings. Yeah? I found the area of my base, which is a rectangle. I found the area of two of those triangles at times two. Yeah, but before I could do that, I had to find the height using Pythagoras theorem. I've done the same for the other two triangles yeah, because I realize, okay, they are the same, but they're different from those. Yeah, they are the same, but they are different from those. Yeah, so I have to find the area of this one times two, then I find the area of that one times two, I find the area of my base, and all the way at the end, uh, what is the total surface area? Well, that is going to be uh, this one plus that one plus that one. Okay, so I'm going to grab my calculator. This one is already in my calculator. So plus, I'll put in that number now, 69.71370023 equals plus 42. That goes a little bit quicker, there we go, equals. So the surface area, the total surface area, let me put s dot h dot equals 192.06138 and a few more decimals and to three significant figures. Yeah, a one, two, three. The two stays at two or goes up to a three, but it stays at two centimeters squared. Now, look at that. Yes, it is quite a work, uh, but it is, I mean, you get great satisfaction out of it doing it. Yeah. You have so many things to do. Uh, it also involves some Pythagoras, as we noticed, that because slant height that is not the actual height of your pyramid or of your triangle. It's the slant height, yeah? so be careful with that or be aware of that. It's nothing to be careful of, really. I mean, you have to be aware of it. And how do you become aware of it? By practicing. All right, so I hope to see you at the next video where we will continue to talk about service area, but also we'll talk about the volume of pyramids. Have a nice day.